Paul, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Not only do we have the milk jug water features, we have a cow right here. <laughs> you built it for the dogs? Absolutely. Okay. My kind of people that actually build water features for dogs. Oh, okay. no. oh, look at this. Oh, you put that peanut right in the water. Oh, I guess that, that makes sense. Paul, that's another first for my channel. A horse trough with a water feature on it. <laughs> guys hey you definitely look like brothers are these guys brothers no cousins, cousins. how you doing i'm the pond guy greg hi greg i'm diane hi diane so this is sister-in-law and you have an aquascape water feature huh we have an aquascape water feature yes. and do the dogs like them the labs they're labs <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Have even been out there. All right, well, let's check this out. You built it for them, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> you built it for the dogs? Absolutely. Okay. My kind of people that actually build water features for dogs. I'm Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy. And we're traveling around beautiful Door County, Wisconsin with Paul from Waterscape Designs, his lovely wife, Justin, and his son, Eli, and the sister in law who has a beautiful look at this yard. Oh my gosh, you're a gardener, huh? <laughs> yep, yes. Pretend to be. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Even the sister-in-law gets wine and chocolate. Absolutely. But and peanuts. These are for Shanoa the horse. <laughs> You're gonna meet him later. Look at this property. You know what? This is how I like to be greeted when I walk up to a house. Aw, oh, good boy. Good boy. And then right here at the front. This is just so cool. Are you kidding me? How awesome is that? Check this out. I was Eli's age. So you're 15? 15 at the time. Ooh, that six pack. Back in the day. Oh, I was 15 my. years old. That's what you married. It is. Check out that six pack there. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Eli, you see what you had to look forward to? <laughs> Most of the stone came out of the woods and on the property. Um, we're looking for logs, driftwood, that sort of thing. And walking through the woods, it's like this limb was way up there like that. And it's like... Okay, I gotta have it. So, yep, get the pack there and stuff, get out. And we get it, and then I notice it has this hole in it, and it's three quarters of the way through. So we just drilled a little bit further, placed it in. I knew I wanted it kind of facing the same way, so it looks like the water is kind of going that way and coming through it, just like it would be in nature. We put in the walkways too, and the concrete patio, but it was a group effort, you know. A lot of the trees and stumps, you know, we all went out and got some of it. Diane did all the plantings. She's really got a good eye for that. It started way down here. When we first started, she just wanted a little 10 foot stream waterfall. There used to be a tree right here in this area here and just wanted something that kind of curved around the tree and came back that they could kind of view. So it started like that. How long ago was this? This was about three years ago. Okay, well, this, so this water feature is not that old. No. Okay. One day they just decided, no, we want you to just transform the whole front yard. Smart. And, um, what is the number one complaint of a customer when, after they get their water feature? Their water feature is too small, not big enough, mm -hmm. um, that sort of thing. So, so they've so, heard that before. <laughs> yep, and so we came into a plan due to multiple waterfalls facing towards the house, facing as you walk up the walkway and coming in the driveway, and then also the, down by the patio, which is gonna have an outdoor kitchen. Okay, so it's still a thing still in progress, progress here. Yep. So you did this whole walkway up to this beautiful log cabin house. Was well, here just before grass or what? It was just lawn, just uh -huh. flat lawn, that's all it was. And now they have this. There's not a single person that comes to this house that isn't gonna say something about that. And the dogs like it, huh? The dogs love it. Come on guys, go in the water, go in the water. Go in there, go ahead. <laughs> that is the best dog bowl ever. That is for sure. Just got out of the water. Hey, what's up, buddy? Yep, that's the dog's life right there. Right outside their front door. I think that's my kind of life, too. So I've got to ask you, he said that it really just started off around a little tree up here that used to be, and then it evolved into this. So how did this all come together? We decided we would try a small water feature 
And as I started spanning the yard and looking around and going, nope, that's just not going to fit. It's going to look like a bug on a windshield. So we said, go big or go home. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and Polly came in and we got to work. How's it been living with an Aquascape water feature? It's wonderful. Um, everybody likes it. Everybody's got different thoughts and opinions and that. The kids, you can't keep them out of it. Your grandkids? Gr yep, our granddaughter. It's kind of a favorite. And it looks like the dogs like here. this area in here. Do they like to lay down in here and drink out of it or what? We made this as the step-in because all the kids are young. So uh -huh. when we cut these trees from the woods, this was cut. Holly had this already shaped. Uh huh. And this branch, Holly says, we're not taking that because it was a tree we had not taken down. Uh huh. I said, we're taking that branch off because it fits. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Literally, that's the step in, and then the kids can just splash around here, and the dogs too, huh? Yep, and that was the intention, is to make it just attached. And on cue, he goes in. Makes the bubbles. That is funny. Walkway path, that log she was talking about, right on the edge. You've got some pastas, you've got some sedum, so you soften up the edges. You don't want to know where the land ends and the water begins. That's about as inviting of an entranceway I think that you could possibly make here to this beautiful little cabin home. 37 years you've lived in this place, huh? Yep. I'd say this is a pretty big dramatic difference that you have now in the front. But I heard that you have, because I saw peanuts, I heard you had a horse. Can we see the horse? Sure. All right. Oh, this is hilarious. Of course you put a little water feature here for the horse to drink out of. <laughs> And there's fish in there. Yep. Keep out the mosquitoes. Oh my goodness. And they snack together. Okay. Oh, no. oh, look at this. Oh, you put that peanut right in the water. Oh, I guess that, that makes sense. Peanut dispenser. <laughs> what a beautiful horse. What kind? He's in Arabian. Aww. My own gray mare. How long have you had her? Uh, 12 years. You still get out and ride her, huh? Oh, absolutely. Nice. Not enough right at the moment, but absolutely. I started doing this with her because when we travel, water's not always as tasty. So I started doing peanuts in her water, and it encouraged drinking. And hydration is pretty important. So That's interesting. Every time she will drink. Yeah, because she's eating peanuts. They're salty. <laughs> and the fish will come up and they'll interact sometimes they're starting to they haven't been in here long paul that's another first for my channel a horse trough with a water feature on it <laughs> and of course living the aquascape lifestyle just doesn't include the water feature it includes all the ways that people interact with it. So to have a hardscape, to have these waterfalls flanking the entranceway, the patio, a fire pit, an outdoor kitchen that they say is gonna be built here. Look at this view. I mean, this is the entrance to somebody's home. That's the sound everybody gets coming up here. You walk in, there's not a single thing that you can do in this yard that would make a bigger impact than what they've got here with this aquascape water feature. It is just absolutely spectacular. I love that she lets her grandkids and the dogs to play in here. I love the uniqueness, and this is what the art is. This is when you hire a certified aquascape contractor that knows what they're doing. They can do something like that. Look at a window right here, and that's where it overlooks. Just spectacular. It's another first. I've never seen a horse trough with a water feature on it, but of course they're gonna do that when this is your uh, family members. You know, what I love about my channel and what I love about doing this is I never know what I'm going to experience. I knew that we were going to Paul's brother's house, but I had no idea they had horses and that they fed him peanuts in a water feature trough. I think that is absolutely cool. Hey, if you like this stuff, if you wanna see more people live in the Aquascape lifestyle, like, comment, and share these videos so more people can see what living the Aquascape lifestyle is all about. We are literally in cow country out here. <laughs> so this is your neighbor's house, what, a mile from your house? Yeah. So Here's one mile from your house, you got a cow pasture. She's waiting with the cow. Oh my gosh. 
She's waiting with a cow. All right, this is the first time on my vlog channel that I'm gonna be featuring somebody waiting with a cow. I am here in Door County, Wisconsin. My name is Greg Whitstock, the Pond Guy, and I'm out here with Waterscape Designs <laughs> and a bunch of cows. Hello, <laughs> they are saying hello. Say hello I love cows. it. Oh, there she is, I see her. She's got one of her cows. <laughs> so we got Justine and we got Paul and we got Eli. We built this last year. Teresa came uh, with some milk cans. She said, build us something unique with milk cans. Hey, I love it. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> how old is this guy? This is my March cat. So it's only how much many months old then? Yes. Wow, beautiful. Yes. And you are Teresa? Yes, I I'm am. I'm the pond guy, Greg. And who's this? This is my grandson, Camden. Hey, Camden. And my husband is coming over here. Oh, this Roger's is Roger. here. How yes. wonderful. And we got a sheepdog. How are you doing? I'm the pond guy, Greg. Greg. Greg, glad to meet you. I'm Roger. Roger and Teresa. Yes. And what's this guy's? Girl. Girl. <laughs> hey, Penny. Wow. What beautiful animal. Well, what kind of cow? Brown Swiss. And then what's the puppy's name? Sadie. Hi, Sadie. You're a good puppy. Paul, this is the first time I've ever seen this. Not only do we have the milk jug water features, we have a cow right here. I have never featured this on my vlog channel yet. What do we got going on, Paul? After a few different tries with different things from the farm, we came up with the milk cans, and uh, she just said, you know, give me something nice, and that's what we did, I think. Though we have three overflowing milk cans tipped at a little <laughs> different uh, angles. Yep, uh, aqua blocks below them. Aqua em. blocks below. Pump uh, vault right here. Pump vault, it's a 5,000 gallon uh, saloon pump. There's where the pump sits. Um, extremely easy maintenance. Just put the pump in in the, in the spring, take it out in the fall. Yep. Blow some leaves out if there is, and the lights go on at night. So how do you enjoy this? In the evening, after a long day of work, we sit on the deck up there, and uh, we just listen to the nice water and the silence on the rest of the farm. So just relaxing. They're hard-working farmers, and, <laughs> and uh, they got something to sit out and enjoy in the evening. Amen. Yeah. So this is a fifth generation farm? Yes, it is. And your son is the fifth generation? Yes, he is. And you've got 50 cows here that you milk, huh? Yep. Wow. Small. It's a family business. It's, it's a family, family business. Farm. Yes. Yeah. Just like what they have, a family business. It's small, but they do beautiful work. This is as American as apple pie. And what I love about this is they would not have had a water teacher if their neighbors, literally not even a mile down the road, the Mancheskis, didn't have them and they could see it. That's what this vlog channel is supposed to do. It's supposed to inspire people to live the aquascape lifestyles, even if you live out here on the farm. I love my job.